Listen to me well, child. Do not ascend the tower. You are not meant to go there. Your purpose lies in the Garden of Worlds. Welcome back to the Talus Principle. I, I was running back to the Sea Hub and then that happened. So I reset the checkpoint and there we go. Yep, Dad told me off again. But, I mean, my purpose is in the Garden of Worlds and I am doing that. Am I not doing well? Dad, come on, I'm doing like the best I can. I'm solving all the puzzles, but there's more puzzles in here. I want these puzzles. So, stop telling me what to do, I suppose. But yeah, we are going to go to the tower, whether he likes it or not. But first, let's check out this C2 world, just to see like what kind of uh, layout it is compared to the island with castles of C1 and just getting a little tiny touch, tiny taste of this mechanic, we might, oh man, all of these have the play button as well. I wonder if that's, is that like a mandatory thing? You can't have that one without the play button? Nothing here. Play button? Is that a thing? Like it's only an extension of the play button, maybe. Like it adds something to the abilities you can use with the play button. very used very sparingly there's almost no levels that even use the mechanic wow there are very few levels that make use of that that's strange maybe that's more in like the the tower the top levels of the tower or maybe that road to Gehenna I, I think that's how it's pronounced anyway that DLC I don't know what kind of things that has but okay well let's see what this is all about then. I'm not gonna read. Ooh. Oh, frame drops, but that's fine. Yeah, so we still have the castle theme. We still have the castle theme, but it's a bit more confined than uh, the previous island. Yeah, it's just these ones. Is this another statue? Like pedestal no no these are just everywhere I guess this is a cemetery yeah we've seen graves before but I guess this one is kind of just like a cemetery and I guess this is a cathedral of some kind it's always a an interesting architectural set piece I bet one of these will like use dynamite to blow open or Grave dig or some bullshit like that. That could be it. I don't know. It would not surprise me. So yeah, we have this terminal. This is a very small one. So like, does this one not have a secret terminal? Or is it outside of one of the levels or in one of the other levels? Tons of QR codes. Oh! I don't, I don't know what just happened. Oh! Someone's like throwing a bunch of confetti in the air? Or like ripping up all the important documents? Well, I'm not gonna look at that either! Again, that's not why we're here right now. Though I, I do want to look at that as well. Yeah, QR codes, all of that. Okay, we've gotten a look at this. We'll check out more of this stuff later. For now, let's see what this final mechanic is all about. So which one was it? This one, right here. Rapunzel, let down your hair. We're trying to get up here, I suppose. Oh, is that mechanic something where like you can help your clone up ledges or something? That would be very weird. I don't know how that would happen, but we'll see. Yeah, there's the recorder. We can climb up there as well. Yeah, just tons of graves in here. Yeah, there's the peas. Boxes. I want the boxes. Well, so we can't do anything except just climb up to begin with. And then I can drop down in here. Yeah, I see. So that's all we can do now.
Hello again. Still bored, I see. Yeah, okay, well, not much more to do than just jump from these. Though, no, wait, hold on. Ah, uh, no, there's no way you can jump this, I don't think. Probably not, but I'm sure you can do some crazy stuff here. Anytime you get boxes, you can probably do something crazy, but okay, let's focus on the level. So, just do this, and then take it out. So now we have boxes here. And then we have this one. Oh, is it like... I can hold a box? Like, maybe maybe if my clone is holding a box below a ladder, you can, like, grab it somehow? Or get, get it, like, thrown up to you? I don't know. Because then, do we only need, like, one box? No. We need two boxes, or my clone here as well. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Also, can I jump over here? Oh, shit. Hold on. Can I jump anywhere else? Oh, wait. Can't you? Hold on. Okay, it's closed off. And I don't think you can, like, climb over. That would have been funny if you could just circumvent the entire point of the puzzle. I don't know, maybe? Can you... You can't jump over, no. I would need a box, I guess, but... Yeah, okay. Uh, just one last thing, then. Ah. Yeah, it's... You can't really stand on that tiny thing, so you have to jump early. So maybe just jumping normally would be better, but... Oh, we can just walk up. Never mind. Just overcomplicating things, but we have to find out. Oh, I can definitely make it there. So this is an an easy out of bounds. Let's do it from here, I guess. Yep. Very simple. And we can just be free. We could just run away and see what we can find. And I will, but not now. Oh, take platform. Platform can be used to have something carried on it. What, what do you mean? Huh? Platform can be used to have something carried on it. Oh, just like... Yeah, just my clone. Like, in and of itself, it's pointless, but I could have a clone... Like, standing here, and then I could jump from here onto my clone, and then onto a different ledge? Or I could place a box on the clone, and then have the the clone, like, run over here? But then I, I wouldn't be able to, like, take the box up. Maybe if I had two? Or, like, if I had even more boxes? I don't know. So, what are we gonna do with this one? I only have two boxes, so what what am I trying to do? And wait, I can't like climb ladders while holding the platform, right? No. Okay, this is a weird item. What on earth? So if we record, taking this platform, and just like, standing here... What's gonna happen? And we speed up for a bit. Maybe, maybe jump? Just jump a bit? I don't know if that's gonna make a difference. And then we go back. He's off. Oh no. Oh, I can't, like, I see. Hold on. We need to redo this. This is gonna be weird. So just sit here. 
Just patiently. Uh, wait, how do I do this one? Oh, no. How am I going to place this one on top? Maybe I don't, but I think I do. Uh... I guess first of all... Okay, hold on. First of all, we can just take this... And then just I sit here, and then we can get both boxes in here. I guess. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, and then place it back. Stop that. So then he'll do that. Oh wait, right, just leave this. And then he's holding it open, so there we go, now we just have the boxes in here. And now we just do the same thing again. So record, stand with the platform here for a decent time. And then we run up here. And we stand here for a little while. And then we try the jumping as well, just to see if jumping makes any difference. I don't know if it does. But then, oh god, what do we do now? Like, how do I cancel this? Oh no. Yeah, I guess I fucked up. Like, I can't be in there at this point. Yeah, th this is wrong. Hmm. What? I haven't even been here in, like, for any time! What are you talking about? Is this level, like, that easy that he tells you, are you dumb? After, like, a minute. Because, yeah, I, I don't even understand, like, how we're supposed to be using this thing. Well, let's let's try it again. Let's try it with only one box, then. But, like, one box isn't gonna help, is it? No, I guess one box is gonna help. If we can get one box up here, if that is enough, him, like, jumping up, I can take the box. If that's possible, then he can then put down the platform, climb up, and just stand here, and I can take in the box and go there. So, I mean, that, that should be fine. But man, shut the fuck up! Holy crap! This has never happened before. Why... Why is it so, like, frequent at this point? Those are kind of annoying. Alright, well... So... We do this now. Just sit here. And then walk out, sit here, jump a little bit, and then we place this down, climb up, and stand here for a decent while as well. Okay, and now we get back in. So what, what happens now? I can be on it as well, but... I don't think that helps. Yeah, I should just climb up. Jump. Jump, guy. Oh, he can jump. Is that what you're supposed to do then? I guess so. Let me just wait for him to come up. I, I guess so. There we go. On top of things. Can't, can't see it. Stand your, on your own two shoulders. I mean, I did, but I kind of didn't. I guess that's just beat a level with a platform. Yeah, that's strange. I didn't... that You didn't make use of that mechanic of, like, standing on your own shadow or clone. But okay. There we go, that is a weird mechanic to, like, have as an extra one that you add in this late in the game, but... Yeah, just, that's, that seems very specific and not as versatile as many of the other ones, but... Okay, that ended up taking a long time, but let's see if we can do a little bit in the, uh, the tower today. 
you have anything to say? Also, that does confirm that you still get the subtitles when you're speeding up, since I saw the, uh, the thing when I was running past here at the start. So that's good to know. Alright, and then we have this audio log. We can still jump down and do stuff with that, so I'll, I'll have to look around later, but for now, DNA. I look in the mirror sometimes and I see myself like some alien being. I think, who am I? Why do I have these eyes and those hands? Why do I see the colors that I see? Why do I think like I think? I did not choose to exist. I was created. Every single part of my body, every strand of my DNA is part of a story that stretches back billions of years. I exist only because of the choices and sacrifices made by so many others, but I don't know who they are. And what effect will my choices have on those who come after me? Maybe that's what it means to be human. Every species is part of the story, but we're the only ones who know that. Well, as far as we know, anyway. But yeah, I, I think that's something pretty much anyone thinks of from time to time. Alright. Purple gate. This is the end gate, I suppose, once we're done. Jammer. I mean, simple enough right now. We only have one choice, really? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. No, we don't. We have a recording thing. Alright. So, I guess I record myself just, like, jamming this thing for a while. Is that it? This can't be floor three, right? This is, like, clone tutorial 101. Oh, I could have gone in, like, super quickly as well. No, there's one more. So I need to do this now? And then we cancel it. But that's still fine. Yeah, so then we record the clone doing this. For a while. And then we have to, like, revert it. And then I take this. And there we go. Alright, so there was one additional step of complexity there, but not too bad. Kind of a simple one, as far as, like, jammers go. And clone stuff. Alright. If this has all been a test, then I can expect a reckoning at the top. Yet the higher I climb, the more I doubt the decisions I have made. I see now that none of us are yet ready. The cycle exists so that we may improve ourselves. But the one who reaches the summit is not our superior, for they stand on our shoulders to reach it. Yeah, not too much to say about those. Just kind of the same things we've seen and heard. Previously. Now, though, what do we get? Osiris password, contraries, and Athena 14. So we're still not done with Athena. Okay, Osiris password. And there in the tower you shall hear the rustling of the wind in the reed f fields of Osiris, and you shall rejoice, but beware. For the end of your journey is not yet upon you. Thank you for installing Realistic Elevators 1.0. New features include password locking and automatic auxiliary staircase generation. See? And the scribe of Osiris wrote upon the sacred parchment that it is called INI Floor 4 Password Equals 369. Only thus can you reach Blessed Aru. I, I don't know if this is corrupted or if this is like intended. But yeah, nothing to figure out. I thought this would be like a riddle to figure out the password. Like... It would say, like, oh, the three reed fields, and oh, that's the first digit. Nope, just 369, okay. Contraries. Oh, hexadecimal, William Blake. Without contraries, contraries? I, I don't even know. Hold on. Yeah, I guess it's just contraries. There is no progression. Attraction and repulsion, reason and energy, love and hate, are necessary to human existence. From these... Contraries spring what the religious call good and evil. 
Good is the passive that obeys reason. Evil is the active springing from energy. Okay. Not sure I quite understand that definition, but sure. Let's do the hexadecimal. There we go. To see a world in a grain of sand, hold infinity in the palm of your hand. I guess it's like these are two separate ones. Like this one is the first part. This one is the second part. Yeah, where is that from again? That I recognize that. Apparently it is by William Blake, like it says here. So I don't know if this is also what William Blake wrote, but then this is like a, po a poem called, what was it again? Auguries of Innocence, I think, something like that. But okay, there we go. And finally, Athena 14. Chapter 14, The Judgment of Hephaestus. If what you say is true, and my father Hephaestus is slain, then who am I? For I was made in his image, and that image is now gone. Am I like the reflection in a mirror, to vanish when the person steps away? Or have I now become Hephaestus myself, forged to be no more than a replacement, as one may purchase a new sandal from the same shoemaker? Athena Reborn, a novel, his legacy is. Okay, I don't know who's saying that, I don't know who the son or daughter of Hephaestus was, I can't remember. Not that I ever knew, but yeah, okay. And then Device Manager. And we still can't do anything with the staircase. Your software license has expired? Renew the license, yeah. Okay, we'll just input the code. Floor 4. Three six nine. I wonder what kind of pieces you're gonna need for like the top floor of the the tower, and if you could just like get the password six, uh, it's password for floor six by just playing the game. Or maybe these are no, they they can't be generated, uh, like you know procedurally or whatever randomly because one was like on a post-it note or whatever. But yeah, there we go. We're done. I wonder if you can somehow, like, play the game again, input the code for Floor 6, and then if you have all the pieces required for it, like, how early can you do that, and then what would happen? What could you do? No idea. Yeah, we should just leave it off. I'm just gonna have a quick look here. No QR code here! That's unusual. There's been one there, like, every single floor. And there's nothing else, but there we go. Now it's floor four. No QR code at all in this floor. Okay. Let's go back to three. And I realized when I was, like, jumping around so much, jumping from the previous floor, I could have just, like, done this. Because now it's saved, now this is my position, and then we can just jump off, and if I want to reset, I can just reset. So I should have done that all along. So there we go. We can be here. But that's kind of it. Let's just jump this way. Sick. Oh! Hey! There actually is something! Smiley! There we go! Alright! Found a secret! Another Easter egg that is meaningless and does nothing, but I found it! Cool. And then if we restart, we're just back here again. And then I can't, like, I can't go this way. No. Well, I guess I can... Ooh. Attempt... This other jump? Oh god. Oh, I jumped way too far. Huh. Holy shit. Oh my god. Whoa. Well, I'm back up. That's kind of fun. Uh, I wanted to do the one jump that, like, I failed last time. Where are we going? What is what here? Let's just jump into this thing. Maybe that'll contain me. No, it will not. Land on the roof. On the roof. On the roof. Ah. All right. Let's let's leave that. I was gonna try that jump again. Oh, and hold on. I actually should probably just take the elevator down just in case. God wants to talk.
Let's see, again. Do we finish with one as well? Nope, nothing here. All right, so next time we'll just continue on in C. I guess I need to go there now so we can like have it saved so I don't have to run again. So yeah, some, some neat little secrets and stuff found. And next time we'll continue properly exploring here. We'll read the terminal, we'll read the QR codes and we'll have a, a better look around. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. And I really want to get that star to get the 10th one. Oh man. Bye-bye.